That's good. When using the shield of faith, you don't have to worry about the outcome because God has, has that gone under control. But when you fight that and use the shield, you will mess up the plan, of, plan, of, plan and the will of God for your life. As the attack of the enemy comes, the shield of faith of faith works in our favor by providing a way of escape, bringing God's promises to our remembrance, showing us what should have been or could have been, bringing about peace in the midst of attack. And just protect us from danger, seen and unseen. Mm. Even our daily life, even our daily life express, even our daily life expresses, God will send shields our way. It wasn't until I decided to do a fast on a particular situation on my job that God showed He could shake some things that I completely didn't understand for my good. My director came to me and said, um, "For your protection, I'm pulling you out." When she said it, I quite didn't understand what she meant because I didn't talk to her about anything that I was praying about. But about what I was praying about. But the next one, I saw a post on social mm. media that stated, "If you saw the size of the, of the blessing coming, you would understand the magnitude of the battle you were fighting." Mm. That state, the statement sent confirmation that because of what I was dealing with was a real battle. To me, the shield of faith is protection, so that the enemy is less is less successful at getting to us. The attack of the enemy has become stronger as the days come to a close. Faith does not come on a man, but you have to act. According to Romans 10 and 17, faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Faith can be categorized as big, great, small, etc. It's all in how often you use it. Everyone has a sense of faith. Whether it's earthly faith, such as sitting in a chair and all, it won't break. Faith in your paycheck, money, your money will be in your account the day it's supposed to be. But when you hear the word of God and apply it to your life, that's, that's what you call the shield of faith. Apply the word of God to your life protects you. And when you say God's word in attack, I believe the enemy will flee. Or even flee, or God will give you peace over the battle. When having the shield of faith, you won't have to duck or dodge anyone or anything. God has already has already covered and made a way of escape. I believe that God puts us in situations where we have to activate our shield of faith so that he can get the glory out of our lives. Having and using the shield of faith is a big deal because according to the scripture, Ephesians 6 and 16, it states, quench all the fiery thoughts thoughts of the wicked, not some but all. When you use the shield of faith, you can overcome just about anything. Because with every attack the shield follows follows your every move to cover you. Without your shield, all the other weapons are exposed. The shield of faith is not an object that you put up to the devil, but it's more of a spiritual wall. It's reading your Bible, reading the scriptures, according to God's promises, being fervent in prayer and living and expecting God to do what you ask him to do. I'm not saying that the devil will immediately stop the thoughts or attacks in your life, but he will actually try harder to distract you from or try harder to distract you from staying behind the shield. But he will eventually give up. Just let the shield continue to protect you. And sooner or later, the enemy will be defeated. In another particular situation in my life, I had to activate my shield of faith. Even when I did not if, even when I didn't think I had the even when I didn't think I had structure. There were plenty of days where I had to speak the words, I shall live repeatedly, not knowing what I would have to see the next morning. Singing songs like, God don't care what's going wrong, he won't let it last too long, I can't make it. Mm -hmm. Even when I could barely get the words out of my mouth without shedding a tear, people speaking life into my life, reminding me of the promises of God, and just days where I would open my Bible, read random scriptures, and fall asleep. Those were the things I did to activate my children's faith. And those were the things that protected me through my attack. When I think about the protection over my when I think about the protection of my attack in my life, I mostly think about how God kept my mind. One thing about the devil is if he's not successful anywhere else, he will tamper with the mind consistently. That's why we have to consistently 
heavy prayers, Lord. I, I used to pray, Lord, keep my mind, not even understanding why I was praying that prayer. But after going through battles of life, I realized why my mind needed to be kept. That's all right. I believe that God, I believe that if you are consistent with using your children, <coughs> trust and believe that God is going to protect you in the midst of the dark tests and trials that are sent to you, it will work in your favor. Amen.